the first thing we're going to fill in are the perpendicular bisectors. So let's take a minute and remind ourselves about perpendicular bisectors. A perpendicular bisector is a line, segment, or ray that bisects each side of your triangle at its midpoint. So in order to fill those in, we need to first know the midpoint of each segment. To find the midpoint, measure each side of your triangle and find its halfway point. This segment is 16 centimeters. Half of 16 is 8 centimeters. So I'm going to go to 8 centimeters and make a dot. I'm going to go to this side next and measure it. This segment has a length of 10 centimeters. Half of 10 is 5, so I'm going to go over to 5 centimeters and put another dot. Last, I'm going to measure this segment. Its length is 10.2 centimeters. Half of 10.2 will be 5.1. So just like the other two segments, I'm going to start at zero and go over to 5.1 centimeters, place a dot. So by now, you should have a triangle that looks similar to mine. You should also have all three of your midpoints marked. Now we need to create our perpendicular bisectors. And if you'll remember, a quick and easy way to make a perpendicular line was to take your ruler and line up one of the long inch or centimeter marks with your segment. It's a little difficult to see on mine, but I've lined up this two centimeter mark with this segment. When you do that, you'll create a nice perpendicular line so put that next to your dot and make a segment. go to another midpoint line up an inch or centimeter mark with that segment and put it next to your dot and draw that perpendicular bisector Go to your last midpoint, fill in your third perpendicular bisector. At this point, you should have all three of your perpendicular bisectors drawn in.
the next thing we're going to